Welcome to the righteous sphere. We separate the gray areas over here. We don't do the lying <laughs> like those other places. No, no. We don't do no fucking lying over here. <laughs> You're going to get the truth. The following program was sponsored by The Circle. Everything is copywritten, so please no duplication or reenactments of their lyrical capacity. Results will end up in termination of your life or court proceedings. Thank you. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. D on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit. Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. C on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit. Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. I don't do the phone, but her voice is very sexy. I'm on my boost phone, conversation getting hot and heavy. She got me listening, I just gotta wait my turn. She got my dick hard, clinging to her every word. Can't wait to meet her when I see her, make her drop them drawers. My boost phone all good, ain't no dropping calls. I'm talking all night, or until you bring your ass. I'm from Harlem, not a problem, yes I pay that cash Just make it quick, I must admit, ain't no time for stalling Got a hundred chicks, online and they all be calling Track five miseducation, they only want that thing They come with no hesitation, they know who the fuck you can And they just as fresh as me, they want that sex with me They don't wanna kiss, they don't wanna hug, they just wanna let me be Stop with the young shit, mature a little no hands, use your mouth so he explore a little I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick She on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick She on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick EQ and he chillin', got the gift for gas I'm in a different class, you can catch me on the app She smokin', she hopin' I can penetrate And if I'm a minute late, we'll take away that dinner plate Racing on that in the state Shorty on a boost phone, telling me to come home Nah ma, nah ma, pop by chicken bone Take whatever's left alone You and me was destined, run the streets, you rock that tennis long my money long, stand taller than the world's rate Pussy up for auction, shorty put it up on eBay You can have a replay, watch my slow motion I, Dick always hurt me, I, I'm the Gucci murderer Dick all in the keep a warm and a winner I am so not your nigga, I'm the number one contender Check a nigga profile, I'm about my dough now She calling me for change, doing things like a grown child Talking to my young chick, she on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit. Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. She on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit. Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit. I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick. Loud mouth, red bone, you love to hear yourself talk. So the smartphone deactivates and watch the bitch take the walk. I hope you put your jogging shoes on, cause that's a lonely road. Wizard of the Oz, tap your heels, I wish you go home. When it comes to the cheddar, them hoes flock together. Jumping on and off my dick like we can rock whenever. So stop it, baby, cause I'm about as real as they come. And I'm even more dangerous when I'm wearing my gun. You project rats, your best features, the hump on your back. My young chick, deep throats while she tickles my sack. If it ain't about money, it ain't worth my time. Turk that thing, girl, work your grind. You can't miss job, bitch, never mind. I ain't lost treasure, got some shit you can't measure Good love and pain is pleasure, do you feel me? Yes, it's all good, Range Rover, all wood I don't know nobody, bitches in a small hood And they all freaking off, damn I need a weekend off <laughs> I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick She on a smartphone, talking about some dumb shit Some dumb shit, always talking dumb shit I'm on my boost phone, talking to my young chick I'm on my boost phone 
talking to my young chick. She on a smartphone talking about some dumb shit. Some dumb shit. Always talking dumb shit. I'm on my boost phone talking to my young chick. Salute, salute. Welcome, squad. Welcome, welcome, welcome to class. Welcome to the club, guys. We here at Club Controversy, and we got a good one tonight, guys. We got the three faces of the three dummies that you will run into in the black community, guys. Oh, yeah. And I got my guys in the house with me tonight. You know we a team, total team effort. So we gonna kick this thing off right. Salute to the squad, man. Squad up. Good. What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing tonight? Doing good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all ready to kick this thing off, man? Yeah, man. We gonna do it for uh, Team Righteous. You know what I'm talking about? You already right. know, man. Now listen. After what we go over today, first of all, what we go over today is just it's YouTube. So it's just gonna be a head tap. I mean, it's going to be light work. It's surface area, surface information. We're going to do this on Rumble, guys. We're going to come back and do this live on Rumble so that you can get the get the real deal in the field. I got to fuck with the YouTube guidelines, so I got to screenshot and let it play the music under and all this extra shit. But um, when you go watch this movie, guys, and that's The Wiz that we talking about, the black version of The Wizard of Oz, guys. When you watch this movie, this movie gonna let you know exactly what the black community was trying to do and what it's about. And to this very day, keep in mind, this movie was made in what? 1960, 50, 59, or what, what was it? I don't know the actual date, but it was from back then till now, guys. It's absolutely, what's going on in the black community guys you know what i mean guys um if anything before we get into it what do you guys remember about this um this play this movie you know what i mean do you guys remember did you guys ever seen this movie did you see the the the, the black version of the Oz, guys yo man i'm gonna i'm gonna just say this here that's a disgusting ass show man yeah, you know I man, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. You know, I like gritty shit. You know, grimy shit to watch on TV sometimes, depending on what type of mood I'm in. Unfortunately, because of where I've lived most of my life, sometimes it be too much for me because I see that shit when I come outside, as well as when I cut the TV on. You feel me? Right. So, at the end of the day, you know, it was a cool show on the surface. But when you get to watch it, man, it was too much punk shit on there. And I was really seeing little bitty, you know, non-black people beat the shit out of big old giant Kimbo Slice, Mark Henry looking Negroes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, 
Come on, kid. Come on. Come on, cuz. Like, that's bullshit, man. Facts. I mean, that that just ain't, you know what I'm talking about? It's like, you ain't gonna see fucking, you know, Sheldon from, uh, what that damn show that, whatever that nerdy show is, you ain't gonna see him beating up Booker T and Stevie Ray from Harlem Heat, man. It, it ain't happening, man. Not on this planet. <laughs> hey, look. Facts, though. Facts. Hey, look. In the wise words of motherfucking King Groove, I'm gonna say Chuch. Church. Well, we're going to take them to church today, guys. We definitely going to take them to church today, man. Yeah, Word, right. guys. Right. We definitely going to take them to church. You know what I mean? FBI, open it up! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So, for one, guys, I need you guys to understand how the, 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 movie, the movie depicts the black community in a sense of black girl magic, guys, and how it uses the woman to use man. But the one thing about it is there is no such thing as perfect people. So there's no such thing as perfect man. Every man she encounters down her road on this black community, black girl magic, she runs a counter and encounters a man, but he lacks something. Guys, do you understand that? That's what the majority, that's what the, that's what the main focal point of the story is. But then you get your offsprings from that part of the story. You know what I mean? So what I want to depict today is I want to show you how men that is removed from who they are, men that is the unemotional intelligent, like the world-class simps that's in this world, how they perpetuate the stereotype and they keep the shit going. They keep this shit going because they never try to become whole. And the only way to become whole is to link with the bros because no such thing as perfect people. God ain't create no more perfect people after he created Lucifer. You know what I mean? Be so you, okay, L got a piece of my puzzle. And I, if I, if I don't, if I don't want to be complete, then I don't need to fuck with him. But if I want to be complete, I need to fuck with him. Likewise, everybody got a piece of the puzzle. You know what I mean? Of somebody else's puzzle. Likewise, somebody else got a piece of your puzzle. And that's why people is important. People is the common the, 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 the common denominator, the greatest common denominator in this world. You know what I mean? People, guys. All right, so okay, Izzy. Um, you know, what I mean, you know, you know, you know how you know you are a reader, so I wanna go over before we get into the actual content, content, I want to go over the spiritual aspect and the spiritual things you could pull from this movie. You know what I mean? So I took some notes from it. I want to hit this up real quick. I know it's it's a bit tiny and shit, but you can read it. Can you read that? I can see it. All right. Truth or proof type shit. Let's get the it. The White Witch of the North was known as Glinda who represents the love, light, and guiding <laughs> spirit that is within us all. The North in spiritual love represents uh, attuning oneself to the... Exactly. We know, we know that in this, in this society that they, they depict white as pure, as holy, you know what I mean? So the white witch of the north, you know what I mean, represents the light. So let me let me bring it back for y'all. Within us all, the north in spirit or spiritual lore represents attuning oneself to the sacredness and wholeness of the divine God within us. And this represents the uh, direction of soul toward evolution. Right, guys. You know you're going to have to conquer the demon in you. You got it. Remember I tell you, it's a fight between you and yourself. You got the good, the good side of you, the holy side of you, and that satanic side of you. The more you, the more you side with the satanic side is the more you're going to cause yourself destruction. You want to lean towards the ho your holy side, guys. That's the fight. Darkness and light. 
You see, that's what this movie depicts, the darkness and the light. Talk shit, good bro. Let's go. Once Dorothy had claimed victory over her dark side. See? Go ahead, good bro. Go ahead. You, you, you got something to say? No, 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 guy. You got it. Okay. So this once is the Dorothy... evolution. This is how you're going to have to get up out the black community. Remember, this movie just tells you how you get out of the black, how you escape the black community. The, the whirlwind that Dorothy was caught up in, all that symbolized is us in our mother's womb coming out of our, coming out into our mother's womb. And when she came out of the to tornado, she landed in Oz. That's poverty. That represents the black community, poverty, craziness. And that's why I tell you guys, poverty is 50% circumstance. That was the circumstance, the tornado. And 50% acceptance of the circumstance. You see, she ain't just give up. She went and followed the yellow brick road. Now we'll get to what the yellow brick road represent, but just tune in, yo. Hit your feet on the like button. We talking real shit tonight, yo. We talking mega shit tonight, you know what I mean? We got Henny on that. deck, Patron on deck. We talking mm -hmm. the truth tonight. Let's truth, go. Truth. We gonna get to it, guys. Stop playing with us. Don't play. Once Dorothy had claimed victory over her dark side, it was Glinda, the white witch of the North, who guided Dorothy to work to walk, to walk the yellow brick road and began her even epic work journey. Walk. You see? Yeah. So look, it was the white witch, the white witch, which symbolizes the light who guided her to walk the yellow brick road and began her epic journey towards the light, guys. So that symbolizes when I tell you guys, what I tell you guys all of the time, go MGTOW, go to God, he going to give you your purpose and you going to eat, bro. You going to live. You going to be able to talk your shit like how I talk my shit, bro. You going to be able to talk your shit how I, because that's all I did. This is why I could smoke. I could curse you the fuck out because I work for God. I am walking the yellow brick road and I have begun my journey towards the light. So you can talk all that shit. You want to talk, nigga, but you ain't fucking with me. No weapon formed against me. Go prosper. You either, okay? Because you in your light too. Everybody in the motherfucking righteous fan, we be walking in our light. We on our journey towards walking in our light. And we ain't perfect. We don't come here looking for Mr. Goodbread to be perfect. No Kevin Samuels motherfucker or none of that. I ain't Minister Jap. I ain't motherfucking Mr. Palmer. I ain't none of them. Y'all come here for Mr. Goodbread because he, he on his journey towards the light and y'all niggas want to get some light because y'all see ain't nothing darkness ain't been nothing but darkness no matter what channel you go to you won't see no motherfucking light until you come to the righteous fair amen let's Fact. go okay let's get them this work bro I'm get let's back. get them this get motherfucking back. work okay I'm gonna get back. tonight let's, let's talk about dorothy we, we want to talk about content creating right we want to talk about who who can create content this is how you diss a dumb nigga without even having to uh, uh, to promote him. This is how you diss a dumb nigga, a simp nigga, without even having to say his name, without even having to promote him. You know what I mean? And and this is why he ain't got no bitches because he 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 keep his bitches away from content like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we will have the last laugh. All right, but moving right along, moving right along, okay. Because, you know, I can't read and shit. I be having you read and shit. I mean, let me get back to it real quick. Once Dorothy had claimed victory over her dark side, right? Yep. It was Glinda, the white witch of the North, who guided Dorothy to work the yellow brick road and began her epic journey towards the light. Let's go. But first... What was the first thing she did in the movie, guys? Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Oh, shit, good, bro. That's it, go ahead. Teach. You can see it? I can see it. I'm about to, I'm about to say it. I just yeah. hope they patient. 
Oh, you know how the, to do. Do what you do, Stockton. <laughs> while the story of the Wizard of Oz is pocketed full of deep spiritual insights from start to finish, the first significant what they say, right? Significant hidden message is shared with the viewer with the introduction of the wicked black witch of the west and notice when you say wicked black witch of the west they talking about our black queens they talking about your queens pro black man they talking about your black queens pro black man and we know that the west represents and symbolizes this western civilization this western world this western culture it's all fucked up the west represents darkness represents evil all that unholy shit that the bible talk about is what the west represent yeah okay let's get in this work gotcha gotcha all right so um we stopped at the west right all right yes, sir so hidden message is shared with the viewer which uh introduction of the wicked black witch of the west there are slightly different versions of the tale of the wizard of oz right right because there's the white version there's the white version the white community version i guess you know what i mean we, what we know there's the original version is white so we're talking about the black community today and like like all the time i talk about the black community because my mama black so when i say things like the black witch of the west that's what i'm reading the wicked black witch of the west that's what i'm reading don't go get triggered that's what it is it is what it is the truth is what it is you know what i mean heal so you don't get triggered heal because i'm gonna always tell you shit that you need to hear not shit you want to hear and see y'all get triggered because y'all sit around fuck ass niggas that don't check you man and woman that don't check you and condone your stupidity they cater to your stupidity i don't got time for that shit. you click into the thumbnail for the truth with proof yeah okay originally there were four witches the wicked witch of the west and the east and the white witch of the north and the south in a cult floor the west is a view I'm sorry, it's viewed as a place of darkness and evil. Let's go. As this darkness and evil as a play um as the sun sets in the west and brings darkness into the world. Mm -hmm. The west is also seen as the direction of darkness mm -hmm. and ignorance. Uh-huh. Okay. Because they are, because they think delusion is a flex. We got way too many of our sisters running around here thinking being overly emotional is cute. And that shit dumb. And that's where the ignorance come in. That's where God tell us we sucker suffer for the lack of knowledge. Yeah, okay, we go, we gonna get them tonight. Nice. Nice. They, they, they gonna stop. They gonna listen to you know us. I mean? We got hey. moves. We mad we got moves though. We got tricks. We got tricks. Listen to us today. They gonna listen to us today. And the white witch of the north and the south, right? <laughs> In occult lore, the west is viewed as a place of darkness and evil as the sun sets in the west and brings darkness into the world. See, because it's set in the west, and where it's set, that's where it's dark at. See, it rises in the east, and that's where it's the light. So that's where the yellow brick road go to. You know I mean, let's go, go, go ahead, go ahead, give me even this. Go, and this should get me excited right here, right? This bum ass nigga ain't got no kind of content. I told y'all niggas, I got more content in my big toe, in my big toe. Fuck the big toe, in my pinky toe. It's more talent in that toe than that nigga got in this whole fucking body, yo. Let's go. <laughs> we in the building, guys. We in the building. The West is also seen as the direction of darkness and ignorance as both Adam and Eve were expelled 
Let's go. West of the Garden of Eden. Let's go. It's, 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 I tell you, it's a biblical war. It ain't got shit to do with man versus man, man versus woman, woman versus woman. It ain't got shit to do with that. The enemy is good versus evil, bro. What side you on? What side you on? That's what it's about, good versus evil. It ain't about black and white. None of that dumb shit that distract us from good versus evil. What side you on? Yeah, okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. Now we gonna start from the top. The West is also seen as the direction of darkness and ignorance as both Adam and Eve were expelled west of the Garden of Eden. And it was the Western Gate of Eden that Satan approached them. Right? In the widows in the Wizard of Oz, the wicked witch of the West represents the darkness within humanity. Bingo! Let's go. Let's go. We ain't playing with them tonight. Y'all y'all make sure y'all run that like button up. Y'all hit that like button. Those of you watching from Facebook, get on over here because it's going. Back. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. All right, it's going down. You will never watch this video. You will never watch this movie the same again, yo. Again. Go ahead, okay. Okay, you there? All right, okay, must have went to go do something. No, that nigga, he probably cooking and shit. The what? Oh. The, the white witch, the white witch of the north, was known as Gl Glinda, who represent the love, light, and the guiding spirit that is within us all. Remember, I told you guys, you got God in y'all, and y'all got the devil in y'all, bro. A lot of y'all niggas lean towards the devil side of y'all more often than not because it's easier. It's easier to do dumb shit than it is to do good stuff. So you, of course you're gonna lean towards your demon more than you lean towards your holy, but that's why you suffer. That's why you forever want to live life like you see other people live. You always want, you always want. You got desires, then you ain't got no goals. Within us all, the North and spiritual lore represents attuning oneself to the sacredness of holiness, of wholeness of the divine God within us. And this represents the direction of the soul towards evolution. Exactly, guys. You got to fight that fucking devil in you. You got to beat the devil in you. I told you this is a you versus you war. So you got to fight the devil in you. Don't go pushing your little inner demons on other people. All right? Stop trying to control other people and control yourself. That's man and woman. That's man or woman. That's man and woman. You know what I mean? Because y'all niggas is raised by y'all little controlling ass moms. You know what I mean? Majority of us is raised by a little narcissistic controlling ass mother who controlled every fucking thing and ain't know what the fuck she was doing. So you think that's what you got to do. That's man or woman. Once Dorothy had claimed victory over the dark side, it was Gildan, the white witch of the North, who guided Dorothy to walk the yellow brick road and began her epic journey towards the light. Guys, I want to get y'all settled on what the light is, guys. You know what I mean? Your word, this is this is Psalms. Yo, um some let me get let me get let me get another voice on this right here. Okay, you back, Your you word. back okay? Uh oh. All right, so okay, now back. So Oh, King Grove, can you give me the voice on this one right here? Yeah, man. It's a good one, too, y'all. This is Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Right. I mean, the word of God, the stuff that we go over here, guys, is, is the light to your path. Remember the yellow brick road that we was talking about, guys? It's a reason why that brick road is yellow, guys. It's a reason why I look like that. It's a reason why I look like that. 
You know what I mean? It's the reason why I look like that. And that symbolizes that light, guys. All right, I got one more phone, King Grove. For sure. All right, this is First John, uh, verse 1 through 5. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light mm -hmm. and in him is no darkness at all. Exactly. What is the whole story? What did we just go over about the whole story just now? About Shorty fighting her dark, the darkness and the dark side and going to the light. And then the Wicked Witch of the, of the East came through, the North came through and let me represent in the light came through and hold the held her down and showed her how to go, the right way to go. And last but least, King Grove. This is John verses 8 through 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of eternal life. All right, guys, we going to church today, yo. They don't even touch on this. They cherry pick at the church. They don't know what the fuck they talking about, but we do. We do. We touch on the shit that they scared to touch on, bro. This is the truth for proof right here, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. And keep in mind, the whole Wizard of Oz, Oz, that whole story, it just shows the struggles of humanity, guys. From start to finish, it shows you what you're going to go through in humanity. And while humanity... And, and going through humanity, what you got to achieve, you know what I mean, in order to escape the wickedness of the society, you know what I mean? And to this very same day, it's the same blueprint that we go through. We wake up to it every day, guys. We wake up to this shit every day. You will never look at this movie the same again. I yo, yo, man, get the fire extinguisher, man. Let's go. Let's go. Get the fire extinguisher. Let's say, man, there's a fire in Uptown, man. Come on, man. Let's go. It's Helen Harlem. It's Helen Harlem. It's Helen Harlem. Let's go. If you talking about content, is we talking about content or not? Is niggas on YouTube to make content? Because I told niggas I'll pay to run my channel. I'm one of them niggas that if YouTube told us tomorrow you gotta pay to control your channels, I'm pay I got I, I owe up for two channels. Cause I want both of my channels. Niggas got to start putting their money where their mouth is. Niggas took a whole lot of doodle. <laughs> Yo, okay, where you at? Okay, you back? Oh, God damn, I ain't even want to read tonight. Did we do this yet? I don't... Uh... All right, we, we right here. We on this one. All right. All right, this is the first scene right here, guys. This is where the first scene... You remember in the first scene of the movie, guys? Who the, the first scene she accidentally killed the motherfucking um Wicked uh, Witch of the West. Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah. All right, you wanna you wanna do the honest King Grove? Yeah, I got it. I got eagle eyes to look at pretty thighs, but yes, I will read it. All right, let's get it. All right. <laughs> let's see. It is symbolic of the devil within us, our dark side, and the temptations of sin. Mm-hmm. The Wicked Witch represents our shadow self and the ego, mm -hmm. which keeps us bound and disconnected from our higher self. Yep. And Dorothy was challenged by the Wicked Witch of the West because Dorothy's house landed on the Wicked Witch of the East and killed her. Mm. Dorothy with the witch of the West and the dark side of her personality. She battled, yep. Dorothy battled with the wicked with the witch of the West and the dark side. Of Thank her you for reading it. And and that's what I just told y'all guys. Remember, it's gonna be a you versus you battle. You're gonna have to defeat that dark side within you first. That this is before, God, this is before she even stepped foot towards the yellow brick road before she met up with anybody you know what i mean my bad good bread i had to go handle something real quick but i'm here no doubt no doubt we you know we kept it mo the show must go on so we kept it rolling you know what i mean but did you tip her before she left that's your motherfucking ass keep it real keep it a buck man i'm gone y'all go ahead man i'm listening <laughs> 
let's get it. All right, so I'm okay, here. we on to this. I'm here. I'm here. So um, I need to read that or what? What we doing? Yeah, yeah, we up to that part. We up to this part of the story. How she beat her with water, guys. Remember, I told you, these modern women do not like water. Modern black women, they don't. They hate drinking water. They hate drinking plain water without any sugar in it, without Kool Aid, like water, water. They don't like drinking Ooh. water, bro. You ain't never lied. You know what I mean? No, they don't like drinking it. So guys, why go they PHB off. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy victoriously bottled her demons and melted the witch by throwing a pill of water over her. Look. She got her with some water. She threw some water on her and got her. Melted her with some motherfucking water. Right. Water in many uh, regulations or religions, I'm sorry, y'all, and spiritual texts is traditionally a symbol of consciousness and spiritual purity. Uh-huh. Water communicates purification this is why Tech. after women go through their whole phase, after they start, after they fuck a whole lot of niggas during the day, they end up taking mad showers. They they soak in baths. They love baths and shit. But um, sis, that what about the inside? Yeah. Water communicates purification, protection, and healing from a spiritual perspective, and it is the spiritual power healing and purity of water that Dorothy used to achieve victory over her dark side. See, now Dorothy sounded like a cancer. Because I know, shout out to my cancers that's in the chat. Shout out to all my cancers in the house. They love water. They love. They can sit in water and soak in water and play in water all fucking day. Gag, okay, okay. As she succeeded in melting Wicked Witch of the West, into oblivion, consciousness claimed victory over her ego and the darkness within. With this victory, Dorothy opened herself to the guiding powder, uh, okay. power, I'm sorry, guys, of the light within her. All right. So now that means until you defeat the darkness in you, until you feet, defeat that temptation that make you want to be a simp world class, you're not going to be able to do nothing, nothing productive on your road to following the yellow brick road, bro. Dummy. Sorry. All right, dummy. Yeah, bro. No, I'm that, that, I'm done. I, I don't. <laughs> oh, I read oh, the whole thing. Like, oh, that was it? Don't think, oh, I read something. the whole right. thing. All right. I, I mean, read the whole thing shit. for that dummy. Yo, it's your voice, bro. Your voice is soothing, bro. You gonna read this one too, right? Yep. You get the yeah. bread on um, blocking me real quick. I got it on. Damn that shit! That shit fucking it up. I think it says the munchkins surrounded. Get in, get in, get in, get in. I think it said the munchkins surrounded at the start of the journey hold an important spiritual message too. Definitely, the munchkins guys is going to represent. You know what I mean? You, you're being blessed with your childlike mentality. You know what I mean? You know when they tell you, grow up? That's not good, bro. Keep that little child. This is why I watch wrestling, guys. I fuck with wrestling because that reminds me and it brings me back to my childhood. You know what I mean? It brings the kid in me. Don't let them kill that kid in you, bro. It's okay to have a little bit of kid in you, bro. And in the black community, they have a funny way of killing that little kid in you with this grow up, act your age shit. Whole time, these dumb motherfuckers ain't grow up and act their age. These niggas is dumb. The same person that'll tell you that is stupider than a motherfucker, yo. So no, you keep that little kid in you. See, the problem is everybody was forced to be an adult. Niggas is missing their fucking childhood because of their hell of a mother, they oppressor. Keep in mind, guys, after she killed the Wicked Witch, all the little, little kids on the wall said what? They said, oh, you killed our oppressor. What do I tell y'all over here night in and night out? Who is your oppressor? 
Who have your reparation? All right. You're a hell of a mother. Stop yeah. playing with me. Let's go, okay? Let Let's continue. go. Let me continue. The small childlike uh, parents, innocence, and faithful mannerism are metaphor for the attitude one should have while journeying on the road to light. It is the childlike innocence, mm-hmm. curiosity. Right. They kill your they kill your shit, bro. They kill your swag with the negativity. We gonna see that. They kill your swag. Every time you got a good idea and you put push it in the black community, niggas is always with the negative shit, bro. Like them crows did Michael. Message. <laughs> Message. Cause Michael was the scarecrow. And he was harassed by them crows. But we're going to get to that. Y'all, y'all hit that fucking like button. Let's go. Y'all better do that because I'm going to say it again. It is the childlike innocence, curiosity, and kindness that will help guide Dorothy on her journey of self-exploration down the yellow brick road. Exactly. Remember, I told y'all, key to winning is playing the risk game. Don't play that blame game. You know what I mean? Don't play that blame game. The key to winning is risk. You know what I mean? You take risk. And remember, our hell of a mother would rather see us safe than successful. Our hell of a mother would rather have us want and need her than to jump off the roof, even if we gonna land on our feet for a million dollars. Tell me. All right? I'm done. Let's go. I'm Let's done. Go. Let's go. Okay, said so I'm done. Said so I'm done. All right, moving right along, guys. Moving right along to the next little hidden gem in here. You know what I mean? Listen, bro. Mr. Tin Man. Mr. Thin Man. You're going to call him the Thin Man because in the black community, we have that black soul that's a lost soul. That's just a dummy. We have that simp enforcer that just to do anything for the black queen who is his oppressor, who don't give a fuck about him, who uses him as a tool. We call him the thin man. Dudes that stretch themselves thin for a modern woman. Dummy. Dummy, you know what I mean? And and in the movie there, Tin Man, he symbolized it. We gonna get to him too, guys, but we just going over the facts right now. He symbolized this. Yo. I think I seen that picture you just put up before, man. It was at the damn. It was in the the bathroom at Home Depot, man, with a phone number attached. I think it said something like "for a good time" and some, you know, sipping slime or some shit. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what it said, but I have seen that picture before. It had a phone number on that. It was like five 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 something five 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 seven. I don't remember the area code. Whatever the area code for them suburbs of Baltimore, that's what it was. I got I got a typographic memory, homie. I'm it's starting to come back. <laughs> I'm done. I ain't got nothing to say, Gabriel. I, I saw that shit say, before. Bro. Yo, but anyway, the Tin Man represented. Y'all thought he needed oil, right? Y'all thought the nigga was thirsty for oil, right? He wasn't thirsty for oil, guys. They get he was thirsty for chocolate. Remember. These niggas, those simp niggas that stretch themselves thin in the black community is thirsty for black women, modern women. They love the modern black woman. She they queen, guys. Go ahead, okay, read that one for me. I'm gonna read it for you. Of course, he's supposed to shed machine oil, but that didn't photograph well. The solution, question mark, chocolate. Uh huh. Go. <laughs> Chocolate syrup is what's really streaming down Jack Haley's silver face. Exactly. Exactly. He was Let's thirsty talk. for chocolate. And Let's I don't talk. got it tonight, but um, I think we can sing it together. We know all know it. Let's talk. Zooming it up, zooming it up. Let's talk. Zooming it up, zooming it up. Move it. 
Do you got the do you, you, got, you got the taxi cab? You got the taxi cab. <laughs> you got the taxi cab, bro. Hey, I don't got none of that tonight. God we damn, all bro. new and fresh because this one getting monetized, baby. Oh yeah, Sweet. this one getting monetized because I tell you what, them no copyright joints. Man. YouTube don't push them, so then he sit there and think, oh, it wasn't good content because just because YouTube ain't gonna push some copyright shit. We know what the fuck we be doing. We don't give a fuck about no views. But see, this little dumb nigga, since he played the YouTube game, now I'm going to hurt his feelings because I'm going to do it right. I'm going to roast him educationally like this morning, and I'm going to oh, get man. the monetization for it now. Oh, see, I ain't going to play around with him. I'm going to beat him at his own game now. Oh, oh, oh. See, man, we, we, got a, we got a secret uh, recording <laughs> That was smuggled out by a secret agent to bail five thousand. <laughs> he yeah, think he's slack. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah, it was. It was my fucking. It was Kermit World Trash Can and uh, Ninja Turtle Big Mike Simp hey, Drop. Listen, listen, listen. I'm a, I'm gonna pull a king. I'm gonna pull a king groove. I'm gonna pull a king groove. <laughs> 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 my nigga. I'm gonna pull a king groove. Man. Let me get, let me come in. Let me come in. Yeah, yeah. Let me come in. <laughs> okay, That's crazy. Boy. In fuck yeah, yeah, man. Here number go to one, come. boy. Number <laughs> one. Uno. Ocho, Hold on. nigga. Ocho. See, nigga. Here, here, go, uh, here, go, here go the simp drop in the world trash can. <laughs> Yo, okay, we're on this one, man. No, it's not a That is round and orange. It's a cookie. No, it is not a cookie. Just thought one last chance, you know? No, it's not a cookie. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I'll give you one. What? How can you give up? It's something to eat that's round and orange. It's an orange. It's an orange. We like that fourth clue. Is it orange? Of course it's an orange. I just told you it was an orange. Just right. Me no. get cookie. Give me cookie. No, you don't get a cookie. What? I told you it was. I told you it was an orange. You didn't get it. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, folks. This <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh, bro, like, bro, I'm about to die, bro. Like, God damn. God, God damn. Yo, what? shut it down, shut it down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh the fuck up. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Come on, calm down, calm down. Relax, relax. You're getting a little out of water here. Are you fucking serious, man? <laughs> God damn. What a Friday, yo. Happy Friday, squad. Where we the fuck at? All right, here we go. Okay. What happened? What's going on? Go ahead. We up to here, okay? We up to here, bro. Oh, shit. You want me to read that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. Shit. This is follow the yellow brick road. This is the light. This is the stuff that my brother King Grove read, and he told us. You know what I mean? Want to get it? Want to give it to him one more time? Let's go with it. Let's go with it. First, uh, uh, First John chapter one verse five. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light, and Him. There's no darkness at all. Right. Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. All right. And now we, that brings us here, okay? Let's get back to it. Let's get to the let's get to the yellow brick road, guys. The light get to it. The light under her feet. Think about let's it. Do it. Let's do it, guys. Now it is Dorothy's task to make her epic, uh, uh, to make her epic journey down the famous yellow brick road as she bottles darkness and temptation along. All right. The, now, why would they call the it the famous yellow brick road? Think about it. 
Let's keep what it going, guys. This yellow brick road so famous mm -hmm. because it's the journey we all gonna have to take if we truly want to escape the black community mm -hmm. and poverty. Let's go. Temptation along the way, as you might have guessed, there is a deep spiritual symbolism to the twisting and turning path we have or we have came to uh, know as the yellow big road the bright shining golden yellow brick road is a modern representation of a much older spiritual <laughs> philosophy philosophy known as the golden path the golden path is referenced in buddhist philosophy philosophies and kabbalah mythology and is seen as the path the soul must take i got you mr good bread must take yeah, to I, achieve I, I, I love the way you do i love that the way the don't anticipation is like, I'm like talking shit for you. I'm talking shit for you. Let's go. Must take to achieve enlightenment and return to the source. God, our true creator. Dorothy represents the journey of the soul down this golden path. God damn. Hold God on. I got damn. that one. I got God that shit. Damn. I got that shit. Let me Hold talk on, my that shit. God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> now, when you talk about uncomplicated common sense, what do we do over here, squad? They ask for the truth, <laughs> but they can't handle it. They want to remain stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they want to do. That's what right? they want to do. I think they get paid a lot, yo. How much are they paying you to be <laughs> stupid? You mean you're doing this shit for free? <laughs> they not getting paid nothing, good break. They doing this shit for free. <laughs> you mean they, they doing, doing this, this shit, shit for free? For free. Oh. <laughs> Don't be a stepdad. <laughs> they get no fucking respect. Don't be a fucking stepdad. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Oh, yeah. We, we on this one right here. Guys, I got you. Because when she got on her journey, what I tell y'all all the time, don't I tell y'all the common denominator is people. See, social media and got y'all fuck ass niggas thinking selfish, selfish, selfish. I could do it all. Independent. I'm strong and independent. I don't need no man. I don't need nobody. What was the number one thing? that this this thing showed us dorothy went down that road of light and ran into people and they all journeyed in and tribed up salute the dirty they all tribed up she ran into niggas you know what i mean and she needed niggas in fact you know I mean? she needed niggas to the and it shows how niggas is so weak in the black community that a female need to make three niggas to make one alpha male it take three niggas to make one alpha male. So we all wondering why these bitches running around here with five niggas in their phone because it take about five niggas to make one alpha male energy. You know what I mean? But a bitch don't want no one alpha male because he gonna tell her the truth. He gonna tell her that you're not a 10 yet. You need to work on this, this, and that. And yeah, you can tell me what I need to work on, but bitch, you better work on this, this, and that. So they don't want that nigga. So they'll take and settle for three motherfuckers to make one alpha male. But I digress. Go ahead, okay? We cooking tonight. Yeah, Let's man. go. Let me read, y'all. We have all came to know and love the four friends who helped guide Dorothy on her journey. Those friends are the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Lion, and Dorothy's trust. Uh, and Dorothy trusted. Hold on, real quick, guys. And Dorothy's trusted friend and co. Hold on, what? The, what? And K9, K9, companion. K9, 
canine companion. Toto. I thought that bitch, I thought that shit said cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, what the fuck? But um canine companion. Toto. Toto. All of these four characters were instrumental in guiding Dorothy down the yellow brick road. If you Ain't remember funny the story, how everything ahead, is bro. built around Dorothy, right? And how everybody had to guide Dorothy, right? And how they promote the black woman in the black community, right? You see, uh, we not no dummy. We know what it is. From back then, they 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 telling us, they giving us the blueprint, and we supposed to follow script. And those that don't follow script is awkward. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. All of the four, these four characters were instrumental in guiding Dorothy down the yellow brick road. But she, but the women running around here acting like I'm independent. I don't need nobody. I can do it by myself. But all those people were instrumental in guiding Dorothy to her path of life. God, let's tell go. me if you remember the story. Each of these friends who Dorothy met while journeying on the yellow brick road we're missing something exactly because god didn't create no more perfect people after lucifer backstabbed him he created lucifer as his perfect most perfectly most perfectest angel remember he was the motherfucker was cute he was a sexy boy just like world class he gave the nigga smarts he gave the nigga looks he gave the nigga Johnny. anything and the nigga Johnny. back bit him the nigga tried to act like he was better than him so the nigga said Fuck you, I'm gonna whip your ass, kick you the fuck out of heaven, and I ain't gonna make nobody else, no nigga at least, better than the better than better than better than the nigga. That's it, guys. That's what it comes down to. That's why Adam is very flawed. I told y'all we all start out the game as Adam. Adam is a beta male. And until we do the work and change the laws of our mind, we will we will remain that and we will suffer. We will be chasing these raggedy ass, hood rat ass, think they know it all ass bitches, bro. No daddy having ass bitches, bro. No, 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 not on this one, okay? Not that one, not that one. That one is copyright material. We ain't fucking with that on this one. What did I told you, bro? I'm gonna beat this nigga at his own game. I'm not fucking with the copyright shit. I'm gonna beat him at his own game. I'm gonna play by the root by the root YouTube guidelines, like how that little punk ass nigga do with his little whack ass, cheap ass content. His dollar store okay. content. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's on you. You you finished that? Oh no, we we done read the whole thing. We oh, read shit, man. So you so smooth with that shit, man. man. You so smooth with that one right there. But yeah, all right. So what's next? Oh, we next. The next. Thing. Next. The next secret that you got to point out is. Let go. Let's go, guys. We got to key attributes. in on the missing attributes now. We got to key yeah, in. We're we going to key in on this one. The missing attributes of these three main characters are a secret hidden message referencing what one must have to be guided safely down the golden path of the soul. All right. Now, when you go into MGTOW mode, you're supposed to be working on your mind, body, and soul. You know what I mean? Your mind, body, and soul, bro. We all know the Scarecrow was not very emotional intelligent. We all know that the, the Tin Man was not very athletic and sturdy his body was raggedy and we all know the motherfucking lion ain't have a heart to save his life you know what i mean <laughs> also guys i need y'all to look at it in another angle too you got to look at it too from a standpoint of the the cultures and the errors that we live through that's why i tell y'all guys it's up to us it's on us us it's on us our error one of us is going to be the person to, to lead us out, to lead us to the land. You know what I mean? One of us. And when I say one of us, I'm not saying an individual. I'm saying what we have right here in the righteous fear is truly special, bro. Because we could say one of us, and that one of us will be me. But what we all know 
is that this is powered by God and it's a total team effort. And God said it's gonna be a group of men. You know what I mean? A group of men and women, sorry, a group of men and women that's gonna do it. That's gonna do the damn thing. You know what I mean? And look at it this way, guys. The scarecrow is the first person she walks into, right? Hold on, let me pull him up. First person she walks into is the scarecrow. The scarecrow represents us during the agriculture era and the farming, you know what I mean, the cropping era. You know what I mean? We already know that the, the, the corporations and the big industries brought that out. You know what I mean? And you can look at it too. Scarcity mindset. The scare, these are the scarcity mindset brothers. These are the brothers that don't take risks. They play by the rules. You know what I mean? Quite like the farmers. The farmers didn't want to, you know what I mean, take risk. So that was why they was able to get swindled. You know what I mean? Then you wanna then the next person she she moved in, she rolled into was the thin man. The tin man. Guys, this is our industrial revolution era. Guys, think about it. This is when we went into the industrial revolution. You know what I mean? Dummy. And we all know that niggas got jerked in this. Niggas got jerked out of this whole thing. Niggas work way too hard. Niggas work they self to death, just like him. Stiff as a motherfucker. But all he can think about is chocolate, is the woman. All he can think about is the woman. Because he mm -hmm. did it all. He killed his self work and he died working for the woman. Not for God, but for the woman. And then this old coward ass nigga, the hell of a son lying. And you'll see that even in the movie, he had a, he was raised by a single mother. The lion in the movie was, was raised by a single mother. And they, then they got the nerve to have that nigga, the one that ain't got no courage. But then they, they get mad when we talk about single mothers in the black community. But they got a whole movie that got a fucking punk ass lion, damn near in a dress that he, you know what I mean? Any given day now, that fucking punk ass lion could have put a dress on. They get mad when we talk about fatherless homes, alienated fathers, child support, and single mothers. Come on, man. You can't make this shit up, bro. You can't make this shit up at all, bro. Where we at? Damn, yeah, I, I sound devastated right now, bro. And of course, another hidden message, guys. <laughs> another hidden no, message there, bro. Is, is Dodo, bro. Dodo, Dodo, that represents, we all know they're going to die alone with a dog, bro. Peep game. Dodo, Toto is one of the most significant characters. Toto was about to get off early on in the movie. And what <laughs> that, that represents is how power is corrupt. They, they showed you how corrupt power is. Because remember, remember the neighbor was good. The neighbor, the, the little witch lady on the bike who was going to try to get her, the, 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 that Toto attack. So she was trying to get Toto put down. And she had pulled with the um, motherfucking, um, with, the police part, with the police department. She called the police. Y'all remember that early in the movie? We gonna do yeah, this movie on before, Rumble. Before the I tornado. Down to the match. <laughs> we gonna do this shit on Rumble because YouTube. You see how YouTube? I gotta do the dumb shit like this. But we gonna do this on Rumble, guys. Fuck with it. Fuck. Hey, with bro. It. Say good bread. My best. <laughs> yes, good sir. bread. Yep. Could you put that uh, line back up there for a sec, man? Which one? You had the picture of the line up there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, the picture you just took off. There you go. See, it you know, un unfortunately, there ain't no more uh, disloyal girls over there. You know what I mean? Because they was like decent chicks who was being led astray by a fool, by a damn mm -hmm. cowardly line. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And see, dudes like that, you know, with a broad say she want to go when she got to go home. And home being the righteous fear, being the safe space. Them niggas always try to beg to get them back. L listen to this shit here. Oh, no, I'll never get home. Stay with us then, Dorothy. 
It's very kind of you, but well, this could never be like Kansas. <laughs> There's someone who can help you. <laughs> Dr. Goodbread. Let me start. Let me start. Let me start, y'all. Let me start. Let me start. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my motherfucker. Man, them niggas getting stomped tonight, man. Facts. But yeah, guys, yo, okay, we on this one. The dog, yo. I know yeah. it says last but not least, there is a some shit dirty with uh, to their success. Right, and right. that you get friend, the bread. Yeah, the bread is in the way, but y'all get it, y'all get the drift. Was was they they gonna they about to give big kudos to the dog because the dog played a major role and you know mm -hmm. these women is fitting to die alone with a dog and shit and oh yeah you niggas y'all gonna die alone with a pit bull too don't think y'all slick either so mm -hmm. um now means gonna be a whole lot of motherfuckers dying alone with a dog with a pet and I'm gonna be a pet shop owner and y'all niggas is good <laughs> free to buy a pet. Just don't get no black pets. None of y'all niggas. Cause y'all didn't y'all ain't like the black folks while they was here on earth. So I, how dare you get a black black dog or a black cat or anything like that? Fuck y'all niggas. But go on, okay. <laughs> you real, you got your butt shit. All right, let me continue to um to her success in that friend was her trusted canine companion. Hold on, that bitch, I ain't gonna lie, that bitch small as a motherfucker. <laughs> Told her throughout the tale of the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy has her canine friend by her side. And there's a very important spiritual message Hiding within Dorothy's relationship with her dog Toto, Toto, whatever the fuck that motherfucking bitch name is. Um, from the very start, Toto, Toto, and Dorothy were joined together at the hill. The story began with Toto biting what. Yeah, remember I told that you motherfucker she bit the her? neighbor. She bit the neighbor. <laughs> she bit the neighbor. Like, you know what I mean? Because you know, you know, dogs and babies, they know the evil spirits. This is why the babies be crying with the mothers that's the hell of a mothers. They be wondering why they baby crying. It's cause you hell of a bitch. And the baby <laughs> sense your spirit. But yeah, dogs too. Dogs sense evil spirits, so they attack. The story begin with Hold on, let me, let, me, let me make sure I'm reading this right. The story began with Toda biting Dorothy's neighbor, Miss Gulch, on the leg after demanding that Toda be put down and enthusiast or euthanized. I'm sorry, euthanized. Dorothy escaped with Toda to the magical land of Oz. <laughs> Gilbert White, what the fuck you got me reading here, bro? What the fuck? And Dorothy escaped with Toda to the magical land of Oz. Such was Dorothy's love for Toda. She could not bring herself to hand over the dog she loved and adored to be destroyed by her witch-like neighbor. What Toto represents in the story of the Wizard of Oz is important and has great spiritual significance. The word Toto is synonymous with being complete and whole. And Dorothy's love for Toto speaks of a love for the deeper aspects with Dorsey.
My bad, good way. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. I'm done. All right, we on to this one right here. <laughs> um, the bread in the way. I don't know if you could. Um, yeah, that bread in the way. While Dorothy, some shit along the yellow brick road, Dorothy, something frequently communicated Fre with one another. Dorothy right, and Toto. Right, right. right. Like, I, I got you. Uh, Toto would help Dorothy to see the truth before by barking and warning her of the things she initially could not see in every uh scene where dorothy spoke with toda or toto this was symbolic of dorothy communicating with her inner self her intuition and her feelings even though the eyes of dorothy never believed what toda was barking at every time it was shown that Toto was right. And that's crazy. That lets you know how stubborn these black sisters is, bro. They'd rather listen to their damn dog than to listen to a man. But they got to listen to somebody because they don't know. If you notice, that dog was her guide. That mm -hmm. dog was the brains. She used the body. She was the body. The, the dog was the brain. And last but not least, before we get on into the content, and I could bring it a little bit to life, but we're gonna do this on Rumble. Gotcha. Let's hit him with the ending. Let's let's wrap this thing on up and bring the overall spiritual aspect. We gave them the Bible, the Bible verses. We linked it. We uncomplicated any come any uh, any common sense just now. Just got it, bro, bro. Got you, got you, got you. The deeper spiritual message here is that you cannot always be aware of what is in front of you. Your eyes and brain may see and perceive something to be true. However, it is only your inner intu uh, um, intuitive self that is capable of truly seeing while on the yellow brick road. Hey, right. And that means, good ladies, don't go hit me with this intuition. But my intuition be telling me your intuition only work if you healed. If you not healed, then your intuition gonna always lead you in a negative direction. Your intuition only work if you healed and walking in the path of light. That's how you know you healed. You walking in the path of light. Let's go. Seeing while on the yellow big road or the journey of the soul down the golden path. You are advised. You are advised to always follow the intuitive guiding awareness that you have within you. Your eyes can be deceived. However, your intuition always knows the truth. You just have to be open to using natural guidance instinct or natural guiding which, instinct. Which means you got to have faith. You got to have faith. You got to put your faith in adoration. Remember, we went over that emotion. You got to put your faith in adoration in God. All your emotions got to be in your God, the higher being. Whatever your God is, whoever your God is, it got to be in him. You don't be putting that shit in other people, not even your mother, not even your father. You got to put that shit in him. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, that was it right there. We on to the content. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. All right, right there, I'm man. Done. You a smooth motherfucker, boy. Smooth operator. Smooth criminal, Michael Jackson. Smooth operator. Smooth. Oh, they let me rock. No copyrights on this one. All right, so we let we let. I know they mother. They cut. I know they took something out. I know these bastards. <laughs> that was too, that was too quick. <laughs> that was too quick. You. YouTube, salute to YouTube, bro. Hey, right, King Groove, <laughs> you, you still here with us? King Groove. Tell me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Horace, did you hear that? Oh, good God almighty, please help me. Germany Crickets, it sounds like a 
a Negro in distress. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Have some courage. Yeah, salute to my guy. We are bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, I'm in this motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, Am I shit. reading or what, 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 what we doing, good bro? I'm reading something. Oh, no, you ain't got to read nothing, man. We, <laughs> now we, that was visual. It's all visual now, bro. It's all visual. We're going to bring the story. Uh, We're going to try to bring a little bit of the video visual. You know, I got to screenshot everything. I can't play no move, no video because hey. they'll fucking copyright me. But um, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna show them how to make YouTube content and not be a punk chicken ass nigga on some YouTube guidelines. Going they gonna copyright me? They gonna copyright me? Fool that man! I'm hungry. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all take some time. I'm hungry. Y'all take some time. Stretch your legs. Pour a drink. We about to get busy. You know what I mean? <laughs> the truth with proof, guys. I told you I'm a little bit different. I'm unorthodox. I'm a little bit different. I took a whole lot of shit, but I back it up. I back it up. Plus, I run with a couple niggas that'll fuck you up. <laughs> All the way. Hurt your feelings. <laughs> they don't like Tell to me. see me hurt. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Word up. The boy good bread. Don't worry, don't worry. We just we just how you avoid copyrights. You know what I mean? It's how you it's how you avoid <laughs> copyrights. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Give everybody a shout out. Some of the, some of these people done fell off. Some of these people still here. But in any event, you know what I mean? We are right, we good. Yo, son, that, that was a very interesting conversation I was having earlier. But I do think that nigga world class be sniffing coke, bro. I think that nigga be sniffing coke. I think that's why he tried to throw that shit on this nigga DeBell. Because that nigga was up pretty early in the morning that night that Savannah was doing her live and her reaction and shit. Dog, Only coke could have you up like that, bro. Come on, man. Come that's on, a cokehead bro. mission right there. That's a cokehead mission right there. Yes, sir. All right, come on, y'all. Let's get into it. <laughs> Yo, son, <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> 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 All right, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> 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 <starting. laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, <laughs> Keep in mind, guys, this is the scene with Michael Jackson. That's Michael Jackson. <laughs> up there. You know what I mean? And hey, bro, he's a scarecrow. Me. And then if you notice, the black crows right here around him being mad negative, just like how they be in the black community, guys. You know what I mean? Black old garbage guts here done forgot the crow commandments again. Fellas, oh, I did not forget the crow commandment. Run them by me, run them by me. Thou shalt honor all crows. Right on, right on. Paper literature. Trash, terrific, and the most important one. Thou shalt never, never get down off of this here pole. You got it, Clyde. <laughs> and the crow anthem. Niggas told him never get down <laughs> off of this hair pole. <laughs> Bro, you <laughs> said you hang your stupid ass up there forever. <laughs> the <laughs> Don't you ever try to escape <laughs> the black community. You Yo, you one of us. Yo. I'm going on mute, bro. I'm going on mute. I gotta sing that thing again. You got a look ready till you get it. Elucidate. We and single bait. You can't win. You can't make it, and then you can't. You hear it, guys? Listen to the lyrics. You can't win. This is this is how they. This is what they think of the black community. And this is how they teach y'all niggas that y'all can't win. This is why y'all got a lot of Rick the victims running around here, living through Kunta Kinte, like the big simp drop, and his and the more and the boys. And get out of the game. People keep saying 
things are gonna change, but they look just like they're staying the same. Right, you get it. in we over your head and you're on. Y'all heard him? Y'all heard him? Is he? Y'all heard him? It's like running on the treadmill, bro. They, 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 they look like this going to change. They, you see the Democratic Party. They always talk about change and no shit change. No shit change. Everything stay the same. People Unless you same. change it. Things are going to change, but they look just like they're staying the same. You get in. We all over your head and you only got yourself to blame. You can witch out. You can't break even. You can't get out of the game. Bam! 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 Zo, you heard? You caught it. You caught the main line. You caught the main line. You can't get out of poverty can't your mother gonna make sure your auntie gonna make sure your little brother gonna make sure your big sister gonna make sure yeah you know what i mean all the people that's just not aware of this red pill content that we spew every people everybody that's not aware of the word of god is going to make sure <laughs> and those are the people you put your all in remember that you can win the world begins you can win, you can win no way if your star stays the same. Oh no. Can y'all imagine when we do this on Rumble, y'all? Yeah, y'all think I should charge for that? I, Cause I mean, it's a, I gotta order the movie. I do gotta order the movie, guys. And I do gotta set up the shit. And I do gotta do mad work. But y'all, yo, can y'all imagine if I do this on Rumble, guys? Come on, guys, charge like $5. Everybody just hit the cash app for $5. I might do this on Rumble tomorrow, yo. Word up. Y'all let me know, man. Support the support the brother. Support the truth. Support the truth with proof. Let's go. We gonna win though. We gonna win. Fuck all that dumb shit they talking. We gonna win. And the world has got no shame. You can reach out. You can't break even. Can't get out of the game. Now this is the first journey. This is the first journey all the way. This is our first journey. You just automatically jump. You can't win. You know what I mean? Again, guys. This is scare talk. Scarcity mind. This the man, the black man in the green with the scarcity mind. You know what I mean? We got a lot of those running around here. The black man with the scarcity mind just. Oh, I'm a victim. Oh, we can't win. The white man, the white man, the white man this, the white man that. I mean, you can't win. And that's because all his life he sat around motherfucking victims. Niggas telling him he can't win. So he became that. He became a motherfucking victim. Right, Big right, big Sim Drop? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where's the bear? <laughs> it's just a statue. To the courage, the man, the the the. Let's go to the motherfucking see? lion. Not even a dummy like me, no stone lion. Also, remember in the original, in the original movie of the eyes, the 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 lion represents the dirty politician. Also, look where he at. Look where he at. He's a statue. In, a, in, a, in in front of a court, you know what I mean? He's he represents the last ever, the ever we are in, the ever we are amongst, and that's why everybody cowards nowadays. Everybody's so sensitive. Everybody's so frickle. You know what I mean? Words hurt a motherfucker. 
if you see the shit they be posting in my comment section, these black niggas, yo. These victim ass black niggas, yo. But they so bad and so mighty. And my teeth so yellow, but they so victimish. These motherfuckers, yo. <laughs> it's a damn shame all this simping is going on. Goddamn shame, yo. But it's the it's the dudes that get a bitches the power to think they they smart and they dumb. So you the right. Chick is as smart as the last nigga she dealt with, and outsmarted, should I say? That's why you know these simps be mad. You know what I'm saying? Cause why they on here? You know, chasing after you know internet computer love and internet thoughts and all that kind of shit, and being mad at the brothers who's trying to spit some real game. Who's being honest with these females? You know what I'm saying? These dudes, man. I mean, they they hurt because they main gal, they baby mama. They they currently busy. Yeah, you know I mean, pleasing another brother. Yo, King God, King, I, King Grove. I got one question for you. Now, what, what do you think is more detrimental to the stereotype of the black community? This or color purple? Mm. Color purple all day. Color purple all day, okay, but this this is a nice runners up though. We ain't even finished. Hey, I, 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 I say I to do this on Rumble. Yeah, definitely. I give it a I say like uh probably 35, 65 for the fact that everybody was made to watch Color Purple so many times during throughout the year. Right, right. See this ain't hit hit like that. Plus this had a white version of it. Yeah. You know I mean? Color purple ain't have a white version of it. And this was more lighthearted. It wasn't so tragic. Color purple was just depressing as hell, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Can't check you out. Realize the king of the jungle. And he also, if you notice, he's on the steps. He's on the steps of a court. So that's why he symbolizes the politician, the dirty, cowardly politician. And if I happen to let you slide, don't stand there running high. You just, you just, you just an old man on the side. Now I'm no lie. Look, you better beware. This is the king of the jungle, yeah. And if I happen to let you slide. All right, guys, let's move right along because this lion was a single son. He was a hell of a son. He was a hell of a son, guys, raised by a single mother lion. Look at him. Lion. Big Where old teddy bear. A Big place old will go. Where there is more. You don't find that suspicious. Lying. You don't find that suspicious. Flowers and butterflies. A rainbow lives beside it. And from a velvet sky, the summer storm, you can feel the coolness in the air. But you're still warm. And then a mighty 
hero will start the sky to cry but not even lightning will be frightening my lion and with no fear inside no need to run no need to hide you're standing strong and tall you're the bravest of them all if on you must call then just keep on trying and trying and trying you're a lion in your own way be a lion come on All right, so YouTube must have um that's the part they must have edited out for me real quick so that I can skip the copyrights. So that part right there was just her telling the person you can't change nobody, so you might as well go on and do what you got to do and follow your own path, but don't waste time trying to change anybody. That's what she was explaining on that part right there, and that was the light. Remember, that was that light, princess. That was that light. Let's move it right along, guys, to the Tin Man. And this one is important, guys, because remember, the Tin Man represent the Industrial Revolution. And he also represents that hardworking black man and how he just beat up and how he just stretched himself thin. And it perpetuates the stereotype that the hardworking black man ends up with that big black, that big black woman, the obese woman. People, how they knew this shit, like they knew this. Look, look, the scene starts out with this. This is a woman right here. This big ass thing is a. But alas, I was failed by my fourth wife, a teeny, crushed in my pride. <laughs> All 
Oh, uh, don't tell me they cut that part too. But yeah, that uh, we're gonna do this on Rumble, guys. We're gonna do this on they they damn sure they cut that part too. You know what I mean? But don't worry, they ain't coming on. Huh? All right, this part they didn't, they didn't cut this part though. If you notice, guys, look how they uh, look how they exploited the women in this movie too. You know what I mean? If you notice, the crow brought in the line of women. These are like the strippers. These are your IG models. These are your thoughts. They brought them in. You know what I mean? And let's continue. <laughs> I find it very interesting who was the, the head honcho of this establishment right here. You know what I mean? And it just shows you who runs the black community, guys. So I tell you no lie. This is why you gotta really abandon ship. You got to you got to get out of the black community, bro. You got to do everything impossible to get out of the black community. Look at this shit here. And this is in this movie, guys, 1978. Look. Look, guys, Big Mama. Big Mama ran the show. Big man, Big Mama ran the plantation. Look at Big Mama. Can't wait to do this on on on, on Rumble so that I can pull it. Pull it to more life to you. Look at that. Big mama. Don't nobody bring me no bad news. Cause I wake up all red and negative and I'm quiet up my views. So don't nobody bring me no bad news. You hear like don't nobody bring me no bad news. Like hey, who that sound like, right? That sound like your mama, right? That sound like your hell of a mama, right? If we're gonna be buddies, you better bone up on the rules. Cause don't nobody bring me no bad news. You can't be my best of friends as opposed to paying dues. But don't nobody bring me no bad news. Well, no bad news. No bad news. Now don't you ever bring me no bad news. Cause I'll make you an offer charge that you cannot refuse. So don't nobody bring me no bad news. Now when you're talking to me, don't be crying blues. Cause don't nobody bring me no bad news. You can verbalize, vocalize, but just bring me the clues. But don't nobody bring me no bad news. Bring the message in your head. Or it's something you can lose. But don't you ever, ever bring me no bad news. No, no. If you gotta bring me something, I'll make you something I'm confused. But don't you bring me no bad news. If you peep the begging, yo, you peep the begging in that in that lyrics right there, like do for me, and I, and I mean ain't ain't finna do nothing for you. Look at her, look at it, look at this scene right here. Everybody laying down as she walk all over them and shit, guys. Just like the little simple forces and the hell of his sons that 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 guard that cat box and they they be having a hand elbow deep in that cat litter. Look, look at them. I can't wait to do this on Rumble so I could bring this more to life, y'all. No bad news, I'll make you an offer charge, but you cannot refuse. So don't nobody bring me no bad news. I say don't nobody bring me no bad news. I say don't you bring me, don't you bring me.
All right, man. And that brings us to the conclusion of our show tonight, guys. Club controversy is on last drinks, last call for alcohol, guys. My guy, King Grove, you want to add something to what we just witnessed, what we just saw? You will never look at this movie the same again. <laughs> I mean, the way, you know what I'm saying, you broke it down was, unfortunately for so many of us brothers, Growing up, you know, you made to watch that dumbass shit, and they make you look at it like it's some kind of historical archive, you know what I mean? And you used to seeing it in your crib, at the barber shop, used to seeing it everywhere, this matriarchy and all this silly shit and simping and, you know, cowardly Negroes, you know, Negroes that empowering dumb bitches to eat a whole bunch of cake and be 400 pounds and shit. You know, niggas giving their paycheck and being bossed at and hollered at by, you know, somebody who's ignorant as hell. And it's just, you know, the continuation. And then, you know, as, as soon as a decent brother or sister try to get their life together, you got them bam black crows, you know, talking shit, trying to, you know, keep your ass where they at, doing nothing, stuck in the gutter. That's a whole fact. And we got the BZ MVP of the Righteous Fair. Oh man, what you lost my music, man? Oh yeah, I'm, I I got a whole different setup tonight. I I didn't get that other setup, man. I was so so busy working on tonight's setup that I didn't bring that over, man. My bad, all my right, guy. All right, all right, <laughs> my all right, bad, man. Been yeah, I've been on on okay. A, I love too tonight. I too. Saw, I yeah, you been, yeah, music. man, you've been slipping on a lot of levels there, good bread. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, hey, hey, folks. Everybody out there, man, sometimes we got to kick good bread square in the ass, man, because this nigga been having his story on the shelf for about six months. And, uh, <laughs> hey, shit. you know, hey, six months. And, oh, hey, God, man. Hey, man. Hey, I'm telling you right now, this nigga got so between him and him and uh, OKL. They got so much material in their DMs <laughs> that they shit should be solid for about four months. That's a fact, though, bro. Yo. But that's neither here nor there, man. I'm I, hey. As far as the story goes, I mean, shout out to my cousin Corey, man. He 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 brought this shit to my attention. Somebody got a feedback. Is it me? Yo, yo. Okay. Yeah, shout out to my cousin Corey, man, because he brought this shit to my attention, right? Because he played this movie for his daughters, but he sat there and watched it with them. No, it ain't me. It's somebody else. I wonder why I was doing that. I ain't... My bad, yo, yo. King. I got you. I, I hit it. Okay. Hit for you. Okay. Yeah, man. He, he had uh, played this for his daughters, and he sat there and watched it with them. And, uh, so when he called me, he was like, hey, man, you seen The Wizard of Oz? I said, I mean, or, or The Wiz. And I'm like, yeah, man, when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? But And then he started uh, taking me through the movie and highlighting some of the messages in the movie, right? Because, uh, you know, because I, I would, you know, because he was on some other shit at one point. And I used to send him content and he'd be like, nah, man, I ain't with that man. And, you know, like, you know, he was he was thinking that a lot of the uh, the issues in the black community and shit like that was like a lot of the man's responsibility and the man's fault. Right. Until I started highlighting a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because we used to have like deep conversations and shit, man. We used to you know, what I'm saying we used to go at it, you know, what I'm saying to where like we would disagree with each other man and not talk to each other for about a month or so you know what i'm saying and then come back around and then realize oh man you know what i'm saying he said some good shit i said some good shit and then we you know we just start agreeing on a lot of shit and you know what i'm saying we just start having deep conversations and i start sending him farrakhan and i start sending him uh you know clips of tommy and all that shit now all the shit that i told him to subscribe to this nigga be sending me and I already, I already watch the shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like he, he hit me with some information as far as being health conscious and, 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 um, 
you know, uh, being spiritual in, in certain aspects. And I and I hit him on something, you know what I'm saying? So it's like we, we exchange good information. And the thing is, man, the, 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 the highlights he gave me in this movie, man, it was like, man, I was like, you know, we all seen this as a kid, but we was just happy that, you know, that it was a black version of the Wizard of Oz. You know what I'm saying? And this, it, 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 and this right here was um, a musical, and it, and it, and it had a whole bunch of all-star cast in it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black stars that was at their peak at in 1978. You know what I'm saying? So when um. You know, I, Red, I don't know if you want, I mean, do you want me to, I mean, because, you know, you said you're going to do the Rumble, so. Yeah, man, um, go in, man. You know, man, this shit endless. We you probably going to say some amazing shit on the Rumble shit, too. Like, but I it's, mean, it's just the crazy. way, just the way the movie started out. Uh, She was, like, I don't know if she was raised by a grandparent, because it, it never showed. Diana Ross or, or Dorothy's parents right. because she was in her grandparents house and they was having like a, a holiday dinner and it showed that uh, her grandmother was the leader of the family. The grandfather was laid back and she and the grandmother was the one running shit. And, you know, Dorothy was, uh, you know, kind of like an outcast. And they wanted her to go away and go to college and go do whatever. And seemed like she was just lost in, in, in uh, what she wanted to do. And she didn't have uh, a the lot identity, of identity, the identity crisis shit. Yeah. She didn't have a lot of uh, go, go, go get her type. She wasn't a go get her type, you know, and, and what, what got her outside was, Toto ran outside and just got to running and shit. And then the, the storm happened. And then she killed that that witch. Once she got into that to the to the land of Oz, she when she landed in the on in that playground, she killed the witch on an accident. Right. And then when you know, like Good Bread said, the children that was plastered on that wall came to life. And and they they was like praising Dorothy because she killed their oppressor. So every time a witch got killed, there was a celebration, mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, and and all those witches were sisters. So after she killed the first one and the thing is, what ties us into the to the black community is. It's like we always want somebody to do our dirty work. Mm -hmm. And she was manipulated into killing the witches. So when they said, because in order for her, because she all she wanted to do was get back home. But she had they was giving her instructions and incentives to do what they wanted needed to be done because they wanted those witches killed, too. So they can so they can live happy ever after and have their liberty, you know, so they sent her on a mission. Yep. So she had to go from one witch to the next in order to be able to see the wizard so she can go home. So in them journeys, you know, she found, you know, Michael Jackson, which was the 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 uh, scarecrow. <laughs> And you seen how those niggas, those 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 niggas, which was the crows, was holding him down and keeping him brainwashed into into him feeling like he was nothing, like he was a dummy, like he couldn't, you know, uh, 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 do anything in his life or whatever. But he was the smartest one of them all. He had the most common sense of the whole crew. And as you know, I mean, as you will see when you watch the movie. He always had affirmations in his body that he that he can't, you know, even though they was talking negative shit to him, trying to hold him back. He was always pulling out positive affirmations and reading them to himself. Right. So when Dorothy came, you know, she she, uh, you know, helped rescue him and and, you know, and always she every everybody she came encounter with, she gave them 
you know, that positive reinforcement and gave him the courage to get off that rack and walk and then, you know what I'm saying? They easing on down the brick road. You know what I'm saying? They, he's on down the he's on down the road right. to the next one. And when they got to that ten man, as you seen that black that big black statue was sitting on the ten man, and that was his wife was yep. sitting on top of him to where he couldn't do shit, and he was fucked up. Facts. Facts. And he was being oppressed. So in this whole movie, it just shows how the black woman is oppressing the black community. And it just uh man is it, is just something, man. And it and it and it's not always physical, man. It's really mental. It's a it's a mental manipulation that's going on, man. Just that's that's and that mental shit is like when you get shamed into when you disagree, yeah. When you have your own mind, when you have your own thoughts, when you uh, you know what I'm saying? When you uh, I mean, what you call it? A free thinking, straight black man. You get you get you get ridiculed. You even get uh, shamed and blamed, and and you even get your manhood. You know what I'm saying? If you don't agree with something that's going on, they might call you out your name as far as, you know, with, with your sexuality. You know what I'm saying? And you know how a straight man feels when you got a false accusation of being different, you know, like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you are uh, alpha male and you heterosexual. You know what I'm saying? That that is uh, ultimate insult. So and they know it, too. So that's why they do it. You know, so. uh you know, it's Seems just a lot of it's man. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of messages in this, man. Definitely is, man. Respect, man. Appreciate yeah, I, had to, I had to see it for myself, man. And when I seen it, man, I I, I couldn't help but to uh, share it with Good Bread, man, and let him know, man. Like, man, you need to do this, bro. No doubt, man. Well, I think I delivered on it right there. You know, I threw my twist to it. You know, we holy over here and everything is biblical. So everything been seen before, everything been written. And it's crazy that this story was it's written out in the Bible. It's written out. Damn, I ain't even know that. Like so, you know, man, this shit right here is just a blessing to have y'all, man. It's a blessing to have y'all, man. It's a blessing to have a team of people. Salute to my God BT for the title. You know what I mean? KDH been motivating me all day. You know what I mean? CeeLo, Posh, man, all of y'all, man. Y'all my family, man, like I said. And I'm going to go on and get the fuck on out of here, man. But um, Ken Grove, Bell, y'all got anything else y'all want to say, man? Shit, I really don't want to leave, but I do. I want to do some work tomorrow, so I got to get the fuck out of here. I want to do some YouTube work. Well, I just... uh. Just want to ask the brother, man, uh, you know, the bell, why you was uh, violating that dude's baby mama, man? <laughs> Who, uh, 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 you talking about, uh, old Twinkle Toes over in Baltimore? <laughs> yeah, I heard, you know, you know what I'm saying, while he was doing the computer love thing and crying and flagging niggas' pages, there was some audio, you know what I'm talking about, from the, uh, you know, it's put on the side of the motherfucking furnace. They don't have central heating in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because they they living like that. They living fucked up, Baltimore. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> and uh, it is. we we got the audio, man. It's all I can say. While this nigga was playing computer love, yeah, you know I mean, the bell seemed like he was. You know, excuse me, CIA field agent. The bell was in there having a damn good time, infiltrating <laughs> the other side. He was infiltrating. The enemy camp, you know what I'm saying? And this is what the audio sounded like. Who got that good D? I got that good D. I got that good D. That's fucked up, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I wonder when the nigga made one and one, made two, and realized like this nigga is in trouble. 
<laughs> when did he realize he was in trouble, bro? Hey, man. <laughs> that's see, fucked man. up. See, man, King, man, that, no, that's fucked up, King. See, I wouldn't even try to talk about this nigga tonight, man. Yeah, you ain't had to do that, nigga. I'm just saying, though, you ain't do that nigga like that. <laughs> that nigga got, he, he made duplicates of that tape. You gotta listen to that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. You know, I got niggas over there in Baltimore, too, man. I got niggas on the East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest, and some more shit, right? They got the but, tape, uh, too. They listening, shit. Hey, 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 man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say that nigga over there on suicide watch. They they trying to they looking in every abandoned building, man. They looking in closets with no doors <laughs> on it, man. You know what I mean? I just I, hey man, I know that nigga just 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 beating the walls, man. Putting holes in walls right now, man. The nigga hey he he he, he beating something, but it ain't the walls. I tell you that that computer love shit real, homie. He beating yeah. something, all right. Yeah, it's, it's motherfucking uh, it's it's some Maryland jerky. That nigga over there, that nigga hand is over there like stepping to a slim gym. Oh hey, yeah, man. you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Straight up. Hey, just like that nigga calling all his YouTube friends and shit, trying to send a message in a bottle, you know, to my bitch, mate. You know, what I'm saying a nigga. Uh... <laughs> Hey man, the nigga calling all the motherfucking heroin dealers around there, and 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 they don't want to sell no heroin to him, man. You know what I'm saying? The nigga trying to get a hold of the strongest fit and all to get himself out this misery, man. Yeah, you they know? don't. But, uh, they they don't take motherfucking uh what that shit is that food stamp card no more, man. He need to come on. He got to come back with that. But see, the thing is, them niggas around there, they don't like him either. So they trying to keep him alive. They they rather keep this nigga in his misery. Damn. You know, you know there's, a Bi- there's a Bible verse that said in the last days, wicked people would be searching for death as a way out and they would not be able to find it. No, he's not. He's trapped in here. He's caught in the matrix now. We ain't letting him out. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, listen, world class. I, I just, I'm happy tonight because I just out, man. I outwitted you. You know what I mean? I know you're listening. I know you're watching. You bitch ass nigga, you. I ain't even gonna ruin my celebration on you, bro. I styled and profiled on you, nigga. I Rick Flair on you, nigga, tonight, nigga. Woo, nigga. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. A nigga somewhere may beat his meat, may in the shredded yeah. wheat. You know what I'm not for real. Hey, hey. Peter, man, in the like shredded but wheat, man. He just falling in love <laughs> with these computer females, man. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? Yeah, they got porn hub out here, man. Oh shit! You know? Yeah, that, that boy on that simp hub. Check that nigga search engine. That nigga search engine full up, full up, b. You got little lights, little hey, lights. But got but the only thing, the only thing that keep him a simp is because he too broke to be a trick. That's oh right. damn! That's damn. Right. damn! So you got a simp, man. You got to You know the nigga. Look at the nigga community tab. He just promoting everybody. Every YouTuber that's better than him and shit trying to make a friend. Bang, you know bang. <laughs> he, <laughs> hey, bang, hey, he did. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the Negro college, you know, fund, people donating to that, that nigga be donating to the fucking skeezer, ghetto gagger college fund in this motherfucker. <laughs> Man, this nigga so desperate, he giving trolls wrenches. Yo, that's oh, a fucked shit. up day. That's a fucked up time, B. Damn, it's fucked up over there, yo. Yo, I told this nigga that it's over for the noble girls, right? Like, that noble girl shit, I own that. And the only noble girl is yeah. Pearly. Pearly, the only noble girl you get to have, bro. You know what I mean? Shit. Right, Pearly? Yep. Pearly with the wink. Yep. You lucky I ain't got that fucking thumbnail tonight, even, nigga. You lucky. Yep. Pearly. Yep. She the only noble girl left, nigga. <laughs> don't, don't nobody want that dude, man. For real. Like, at this point, it's probably entertainment, and he probably didn't pay her. You feel me? He probably used right. his, gimp, his gimpy leg ass, greasy granny's disability check to pay her to keep her for a little bit longer. Man, yeah, Pearly ain't gonna get in a, in a fucking 50 foot radius to that nigga, man. She is not gonna get her motherfucking channel infected. With that bullshit, that shit's so low on the ra- on the radar. You remember that movie? What was it? Uh, the Warriors back in the day. Yeah. Okay, you remember? Everybody went to that big ass meeting, 
you know what I'm saying, in the Bronx. And then after everybody was trying to get home and shit, because it was, you know, it was a fire on the damn train and the police broke it up and raided it and shit, they ran into that little low budget outfit. They didn't even know shit about the meeting. Yo, see, they didn't. You know what I'm talking about? The chat, <laughs> yo, the chat that triggered me, bro. They didn't got me onto this ugly okay. ass nigga, the big simp drop, bro. I don't like this nigga, bro. You see that nigga quiet right now. Niggas mentioned the flower shop, scent drop flower shop, and that nigga shut the fuck up. That's exactly right, bro. But I know you hear me too, you big black dumb motherfucker. Yo. I'm gonna... <laughs> the heat is on you too, nigga. You know what I mean? You can put this in your pipe and smoke it, nigga. I'm on your ass, nigga. You can't ignore me, nigga. You could try to try to play that ignore me shit, <laughs> but you can't ignore me, you big, black, dumb motherfucker. Like I told you, son, I'm going to get you too, bro. Word. Hey, oh. hey man. Hey, man. And these old dick-sucking, clout-chasing ass niggas. Now, we done made this motherfucking shoobity wop dd wop with the computer love. And this old bitch-ass nigga done photoshopped a picture of Roger <laughs> Troutman and this nigga and the shit looks so fucking awkward and, and just obviously photoshopped because who takes a picture with a nigga looking at your goddamn shoulder? In a fucking shadow all off and Yeah, ain't no shadow on the brick wall and shit. Like, nigga, where the fuck did y'all take this motherfucking picture at? You know and what nigga, I mean? Nigga, it why looked like they was in a back alley and shit with a a dumpster was like two feet away. Man, come on with that bullshit. And Roger in a suit and this nigga in a goddamn uh, 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 baby blue ass swap meat t-shirt. Looking like he on a football practice record. He, he, he fresh up the practice squad, yo. This nigga. This nigga. Nigga stole a nigga, a rapper nigga's name, man. Give Big Mike his motherfucking name back, nigga. We'll call this nigga Michael. That nigga know he Michael. That nigga name is Michael. For now, or Michael. Please stop <laughs> playing with me. Don't you ever play with me again, Michael. And the next time I tell you to mind your business, you mind your motherfucking business, okay, Michael? Don't play with me. <laughs> Where the pit pat? <laughs> Where the Fuck bitch you at? <laughs> you still gonna Where get the I? last laugh? You think you still gonna get the last laugh, nigga? Who laughing now, nigga? <laughs> Y'all niggas is dead and stink. How you say dead and stink, B? Word <laughs> up. And I'm on y'all niggas ass tomorrow too. Just cause you just you just ugly and you just stupid. And I'ma just fuck with you now. Cause y'all niggas, you oh, they ambush me, y'all. They since we I'ma yeah. am, show you what an ambush is. I'm gonna be on my ambush y'all niggas every day. There you go, right there. He just showed up in the lab. Look, there you go. That's picture go right there. There you go, Big Mike. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, and see the thing is, man, these niggas, these niggas don't even realize, man, and because they in such delusion and denial and shit, nigga. Look at your motherfucking chat. Look at your chat room and look at this one here. You see these smiley faces and laughy faces and shit. Nigga, you see snoozes and sleepy faces in your motherfucking chat, nigga. Matter of fact, it don't be nothing in there but a few moderators. All that copy and paste material you doing, nigga. You this nigga, this nigga copying and pasting material over and over again about Anton Daniels, man. Would you please email this nigga and ask him if he want his dick suck or just leave him alone, man? That's, That's all you got, facts. brother. God damn. That nigga man should get a restraining order on you, nigga. Daryl Long ass nigga. Facts. I'm a, in the words of my nigga OKL, okay, yo, get this fresh out the 80s nigga away from me, bro. This nigga looks straight out the 80s, bro. A blast for a blast from the past. Nigga like an 80s nigga, bro. You and your gray ass sweater, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, if I ever see you, I'ma grab you by that, that hoodie. I'ma grab you by I'ma choke you by that hoodie, nigga. That's what I'm gonna do. Word up. <laughs>
this nigga fresh out the 80s. Nigga, okay, said this nigga look fresh out the 80s. I was rolling. <laughs> hey, put, put, hey, put that picture up there, man. Put that picture up there, man. Well, you got something in the back chat? No, no, no. Just this, uh... Where is it? Oh, you like this one. This one, this, this, this fit him better. That fit him better. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, ET phone home for real, XL Pro, straight up. Facts, bro. This nigga different, bro. He weird old nigga. Nigga weird, bro. Got the young boy fighter complex bombing on him and shit. You know what I mean? This nigga can't win at all, bro. At all, bro. <laughs> and listen, I, I, I didn't even take you. Listen, listen. I know, man, listen. Boy, I'm gonna get you. Cause I wasn't your first L. Nigga, I just I just I just done you. I shut you down. See, I don't play that that bullshit y'all niggas be playing in these YouTube streets. You know what I mean? But nigga, 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 I took your courage. You 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 can't even think right now. You can't even structure. You can't even form nothing right now, nigga. You can't even you don't know where to go left, right, up, down, motherfucker. I got you, nigga. See, the bell got your heart. The bell took your heart, nigga. You know what I mean? The bell took your heart, nigga. Hey, man. You know this mean? nigga, this nigga want to have a drug accusation. Nigga, did you hear your rap before you rapped it? That little bullshit ass one liner you just said, nigga. 5K, five ways, and something, whatever, man. That dumb ass shit, nigga. That was the most retarded shit I ever heard in my life, man. Yo, and this nigga thought he had a bar. Allegedly, that nigga on cocaine, bro. That nigga be up late at night, bro. Man, that's my story, bro. That nigga be up late. I like the first thing you say. He be on that Baltimore heroin. That's what he do. He be on that Baltimore heroin. Nigga, the yeah. bell gonna say, "How the fuck you gonna say the nigga mom? How he? Why he vegan? Why the nigga vegan again, the bell, yo?" That, that nigga used to come home. Crying. That nigga used to come home from school. Talking about mama, what's what, what's for dinner? <laughs> oh mama, damn! Mama eating chicken and throwing this nigga the bones <laughs> over in the corner. Boy, that's cold. Damn. <laughs> that's fucked Treat, up. Man. <laughs> treating, treating that nigga, treating that nigga like a dog. Nigga, Man, Dorothy nigga. treated Dorothy <laughs> treated total better than your mama treated you, nigga. Damn. Giving that nigga a motherfucking you shake and bake without shit. the poke chop. You ain't shit. <laughs> and she made sure she only had a little bit of gristle left on that motherfucking bone. She, she bit the shit out that chicken. God damn. <laughs> he look like he's losing weight, too. Look at him. Yeah, that nigga losing weight. <laughs> Look at that nigga. That nigga just sitting out there in the sun. <laughs> nigga sitting up here eating Brussels sprouts and celery and shit. Thinking he gonna live long, nigga. You should eat the fattest food you can, nigga, and try to die, nigga. Take yourself out your misery, man. That's a fact, yo. And nigga, get up off that computer. You stiff as a doorknob, bro. You Cause I, I, hey, I ain't never heard of a ham being a vegan. Nigga, use a ham, nigga. Facts, bro. This nigga, nigga, use a robot, nigga. Look at you, use a robot. <laughs> you done turned yourself into a robot. All that computer loving, you done turned yourself into a robot, nigga. Look at you, nigga. Look Say, man, he he need oil. Oil, you know what I'm talking about, is them them vaginal juices from real life beautiful females. And here he only getting that computer love, you know what I mean? Girls on the internet don't count, man. Yeah, but you know what it is? You seen what that, that movie represented? 
the nigga didn't run off oil. He ran off chocolate. He need yeah. that chocolate. He need that mama love. He need that hug. <clears throat> mama ain't hug this nigga enough, bro. She ain't I, I guess, this nigga nothing, bro. I mama guess Mexi would be Laffy Taffy because she Puerto Rican, right? Not, not cause she, whatever the fuck the bitch is. <laughs> the, bitch is. The, the, bitch, the bitch ain't like him because he was the nerd. She liked the, the ratchet nigga that got his head blown off. Know what I mean? Yeah. The, that Man. nigga, she liked the hood nigga. This nigga was the nerd, so she ain't like this nigga, yo. So she ain't get that nigga no hug. She ain't get that nigga no love, bro. Nah. No, nah, it, it ain't even that type of party, man, because you know these old fruity niggas, they like to be around females. But see, the thing is, with this nigga, he around females for a different reason. He trying to get hair and makeup tips. Oh, that's it. The oh, reason sick. why the nigga so rusty is that nigga Big Mike been fucking the transmission fluid out this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he didn't got his symptom for every drop. He the symptom for every drop. Damn. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, nigga, I'm gonna call nigga, say, man. Man. He liking to eat the coochie and he like it hairy. He like I'm gonna call the I'ma call the EPA like on them like niggas, man, the environmental protection agency in this motherfucker, <laughs> man. Straight <laughs> up. Ah. Niggas fucking up the ozone, man. Look at this hey. nigga, yo. Look at this dumb nigga. Look at this nigga, B. This nigga just hey. looks stupid, bro. I should have put said, the t-shirt on him. That nigga said, hey, Mike, you going to come over? You going to be wearing your lion suit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch. Watch who get the last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nigga bring his flower, a bouquet of flowers from the flower shop and just go to town on this nigga. Hey, nigga, put your glasses on. You know who Big Mike kind of look like, don't you, though? Big Mike kind of look like Africa Bambada. Whoa. Mm-hmm. He went Zulu Warrior on them world-class bums. Mm. That nigga Big Mike dropped you know that nigga not hitting it right, yo. Amber Alert. We got some niggas over here that'll tap that up right, right. You know what I mean? Tap it up right, right. You ain't got to, you ain't, we, you won't send no alert no more. You won't have to alert. You'll change your whole name, Miss Amber. Word. It's not even about you. So don't let that punk bitch nigga tell you anything that it's about you. We ain't attacking you. We actually like you. You know what I mean? We'll treat you like the queen that you could be if you fuck with a real nigga. But as long as you fuck with that simp drop nigga, sis, you know what I mean? Sis, what are you doing, bro? That nigga don't know what he doing, so he can't tell you what to do, yo. Don't let that nigga tell you what to do. That nigga dangerous, yo. That nigga dumb, yo. Yeah, don't don't be fooled just because he got that pension coming. I mean, I know he got money built up. 52 years driving for BFI, you know what I'm saying? 52 years driving the garbage truck, you know? That's a lot of time, man, stored up. So at that 401k, you know, it's, it's looking pretty nice right now. She considering all the options, the angles. Shit, I don't know what kind of benefits they got. That nigga drive a flower truck. He's the dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and with that said, man, we the fuck out of here, man. We the fuck out of here, guys. We is lit. Yeah, make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out. Share and guys, those of y'all watching on the playback, hit those. Hit one or two, one of two of those videos that's gonna pop up on the screen right now, man. We holla at y'all. We out of here. Hey, check out the rumble tomorrow, y'all. Check out this movie, man. It's gonna be. Man, it's going to be a trip, man. Fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yo. Yes, sir. And hit the cash app, y'all. You know what I mean? Hit the cash app tomorrow, y'all. Hit the cash app. Y'all know I don't even play those games, so it's, it's very important that you hit the cash app tomorrow, bro. And the, and the number one thing, man, y'all enjoy yourselves this weekend, man. Have a safe one, man. You know what I mean? We'll check y'all tomorrow. Bone appetite.
Crazy, crazy.